everybody this is sherry with cpr craft pray repeat and i'm just going to share a very quick a very simple a very easy packaging uh solution that you could use this year for your christmas gifts and they would make great gifts for teachers for co-workers i mean just the possibilities with these are endless and what i did was i started by buying some plain white pillow boxes now i got mine from michael's forever ago for something i don't remember what i was getting them for but i i bought them instead of making them but you can make your own you don't have to buy you know the ones from the store and i'm going to zoom you in here a little bit so that you can see how cute these look and all I did was run them through my embossing folder. And now it's debossed on the other side, but I mean, both sides look cute. So you can make whichever you want the top and wherever you put the bow is going to be the top of your package. So that's what the majority of people are going to see. And what I did was I took the last of my red and black Buffalo check faux vinyl or faux leather and I made a bow for my daughter-in-law's hair. And I made bow ties for my son and grandson. They're going to look so cute. <laughs> and so I just wanted something simple but adorable to put it in. And so here's the first one. And I just used an embossing folder. You don't have to have the same embossing folders I have. I mean, I don't have anything fancy. You know, all of mine with the exception of one. One is from stamping up but the rest of them are just ones that i bought on sale at either michael's or joann's or hobby lobby or one of those places and this one i love it's got really pretty ornaments on the front and then i just used a ribbon from my stash and when i actually when i put these together i wrapped, went ahead and tied the bow around them because i just wanted to have everything together and that way whenever i was ready to fill them the ribbon was already on all I had to do which you wouldn't even have to put it on I guess you could just you know stick it inside so that you had all of your stuff together you know stick your little tag in there and then when you're ready to fill it you have everything you need but I just went ahead and tied mine on and I left the, the tail really long so that when I was ready to fill them in case I didn't get it tied exactly the way I had it on the first time I had a little leeway and I could cut the tails as long as I wanted so this is the first one I'm gonna move that out of the way and here is the second and again this one has just some different uh, Christmas ornaments on it I used a blue bow and this one has my son's nope that's not right this one has my nephews in it oh i gotta keep that straight because my nephew is two years old and my son is 27 i think it would be a big problem for him to wear my for my son to wear my nephew's little bow tie so this one is my nephews and so i just used um some blue ribbon that matched the red that i had in my stash tied it on and it's super easy and i learned how to make these from Erica who is Scrap Diva 29 here on YouTube and I will link her channel in the description box she made some and they she had the cutest gingerbread embossing folder I've ever well actually the only gingerbread embossing folder I've ever seen and so I really want to find that one and I will show you another one that I made and this one is empty right now and I left the tails real long so I, when I go to t put my stuff in and tie it up, you know, I can adjust the ribbon and cut it off then. But this one has um, little puppy paws and it's, it's got little hearts on it and it's from Stampin' Up. It's a retired one, guys, so they don't carry it anymore. But I showed it to a friend of mine and she got online and started looking and she found an adorable, adorable puppy paw print embossing folder and hers was a five by seven so she can do even bigger you know pillow boxes than what i can and so i'm hoping that i can find one 
that has the gingerbread on it like Erica's because I just thought that was the cutest thing I had seen. I mean, they were just adorable. And you can see right there the little paw prints and things. And I just love it. These are so easy. And I mean, like I said, you make, you wrap them up, get them ready ahead of time if you want. You can even just stick your, your ribbon and your tag down in here. And then that way they lay flat. And then when you're ready, you puff them up, put your stuff in, tie your ribbon on, put your tag on. Which apparently I need to put a tag on because I almost gave the wrong one <laughs> to my son. Here is my son's. And this one just has the ornaments or the decoration on the side. So this one's a little different, but you really can't tell there's not a lot in the middle because the bow is taking up so much of the space. So this is my son's, and then this one is my daughter-in-law's. And they both have, you know, little Christmas baubles and stuff, which I thought was adorable. And then here is my grandson's. And I just used a piece of black organza ribbon, and his is covered with snowflakes. And oh, I just love it. I'm, I hate that I can't tell how well you guys can see this in the camera. It's driving me crazy, but I hope you can. I'll check, and if not, I'll have to try to do it again. But I'm really hoping you can see, because it just adds so much. These plain boxes all of a sudden are just, bam, over the top, adorable. And so simple, so easy to do. And these pillow boxes are things that you can make way ahead of time because you can leave them flat. You don't have to, you know, have them puffed up so they don't take up any storage space. So super idea for, you know, having packaging ready. And if, especially if you have an electronic die cutter, you can make a nice big old, big old pillow, case, or pillow box. So, I mean, you're not limited to something just so small, but these would be great for stocking stuffers and things like that. And so here they are. I'll bring them back in here one, time, one more time and zoom out so you guys can get a good look at all of them. And then this, like here, as I said, is the one where I left the tails really long, which I guess I didn't need to leave it quite that long, but actually it was the end of the the ribbon so, or the end of the roll so I just left it like that the other ones weren't quite this long because I don't like to waste my ribbon but you know this way I'm ready and when I've got Mariah Mar Mar so funny she was so mad she came over and she saw me making these she said day not big I said well they're not for you baby she said day not big they no hold my DVD player <laughs> That poor thing is going through DVD withdrawals. But it's, you know, a month before Christmas. I can't go out and just buy her another DVD player just, you know, a month before Christmas. So she's having to wait, and it's nearly chilling the poor thing. But she was like, these no hold my DVD player. And, I mean, she's just a bob in that little head. She was not happy. She's like, you're failing me, mother. You're failing me. You know? How am I supposed to know that I have a DVD player coming for Christmas when you're piddling with these little tiny boxes? It's just so funny. She just cracks me up. She was not happy. But these are so cute, guys. And like I said, you can make them ahead of time, store them flat, so they don't take up any space. So these are a great packaging alternative and something that you can have ahead and ready you know, put some candies in here. They'll hold a gift card. I mean, there's just all kinds of things. Jewelry would fit in here. You know, if any, you know, if my husband ever watches my videos, jewelry will fit in here. <laughs> Craftings, you know, glue and gift cards for Michaels and Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Those kinds of things fit in here nicely. You know, just in case anybody wanted to know. And in case my husband ever watches this video. <laughs> Alright everybody, if you like this video and you like this idea of packaging, give it a thumbs up. And um, leave a comment below letting me know if you have any um, really cool Christmas embossing folders that stand out to you. Like that gingerbread man that she showed is doing to me. I really want that. So... If you know if you have one that really stands out to you that you really like, please share it with me because I'm really curious. I'd like to get some more holiday embossing folders. I want regular ones that I can use too, but Christmas is my favorite time of the year. 
and I love anything Christmas so I'm on the hunt for some more embossing folders so if you have anything that's really special to you share it with me I would appreciate it and I'll go on the hunt and see if I can find it all right remember to practice your CPR craft pray repeat thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting love you all bye